Okay, so um, hello everyone. Today we're looking at love, uh, the thing of shit, in bullshit. So um, something kind of interesting which I came up with. Okay, so let's say for example you have ID numbers here, and here you have various amounts, and here you have the quantity. Okay, so for the ID numbers, we're just going to generate random ID numbers. So let me see where. Okay, so these are the random numbers. So we have copy this, copy this. Okay. Then for the amounts, we just have just to just to get random number as well. So thousand to five thousand. Yes. And the quantity we just as well just want random number between one. Great. So this is our data. If we want to, for example, put this data form so that others can touch it, the way you put the data in Google Sheets is you select the data, you go to data and you see potter sheets. When you click on potter sheets, here yeah, you give you give a description of what you want to put it, you give a description. Yeah, it says the range so I'm trying to protect B3 to C eleven. So this B3 to C eleven. And I set my permission. Or I have the entire sheet if I want to do that. I can put put the entire sheet except a particular sheet. So maybe you can change everything, but you can change your name. I want to be able to change your names, but maybe you can change your files. That also works. So click on the range and set that permission. And see this. So can, can I be the one that can edit this range which I just can do a custom and I send in people's email. So, for example, I send me with Timmy Diary, I should be able to also be able to edit it and I click on done. So, I end this now. So, it sends it to me Diary, I can share it. So, okay. so that's the process of sheets. But if, for example, you're trying to put the formula, so for example, let's say we have a total here, and the total of this here. Okay. So now it's this is the total. So I have a formula here, but I also don't want it to read the same formula. So in Google Sheets, there's no way for you to hide your formulas, but there's a way you could also do this in a different way. So what you can do is you can use this formula called the import range. So this is the import rate formula works. So let's create a new sheet, for example. Now I'm going to do so I create a new sheet. And so what I want to do is I want to display the values here. here. So, but whenever I display it, it doesn't just somebody display the formulas I was used to create each of these values. So I'll just come here anyway, do equals to import range. So I can import data from another sheet. So I give the sheet URL. So for the sheet URL, I just need to copy this. I can also just copy this. This is actually more than enough. So get the work. So I copy this. I copy it. I come here and I paste it. Also, I close it. Come out. That's for the range of this data. So what I want to do is the data from here. So which is this actually? So this. So this at the moment is right now we are in eight two and here is um, D eleven. So I just come and do. It to so, so D11. I close the broker. So is D11? Yeah, D11. And the press enter. So at first, it's not going to work because I need to give it because access to that sheet. So I click on allow access and display the data. So now, what do I display here? It displays it based on what's it without actually showing me is it the formula. It just shows me everything as a value. So you could do calculation C on this particular sheet and displays on a different sheet for others to look at if you don't want them to take a look at the formulas you use for some reason. But now what are the problems? So one of the issues with this is 
let's say for example we have something yeah that's that's um, very controversial so um i'll data now and here is confidential and we have some information so let me just say the information of here is the sum of something that's confidential so so to make here the widget setting and it shows the data which i don't want you to take a look at